There are 13 oral sexual maneuvers that you haven't tried yet. Have you ever heard the expression that the act of giving is itself a gift? But if that's not it, then what else is oral sex? There is nothing more arousing than knowing you were the one who caused your lover to orgasm when you were having sex with them. It's possible for the person doing the cunnilingus or the fellatio in to have just as much pleasure as the person receiving it, especially if you try out some brand new motions that you and the recipient will enjoy doing together. The following are some strategies and positions for oral sex that will not only make the encounter more enjoyable for your spouse but will also make it more thrilling for you. Take advantage of the back entrance. Oral sex advice is not solely focused on the vaginal area. According to Laura Berman, PhD, a therapist who specializes in sexual and relationship issues, the region surrounding the anus contains a large number of very small nerve endings. These nerve endings produce a pleasant sensation when the area is massaged with the hands or the tongue. Just make sure that you and your spouse go over this topic first so that there are no surprises. It's possible that taking a shower together as a form of foreplay could help you and your partner feel more clean and relaxed. Make some noise. Making noise during oral sex isn't just about the sound effect, according to Jonathan Alpert, a psychologist and relationship specialist, noises like humming, moans, and groans produce a stimulating vibration. Additionally, they communicate eagerness, which will make the event more enjoyable for both of you. Kiss them playfully to torment them. Jess O'Reilly, PhD, Astroglide's resident sexologist, says that when you want to build anticipation, you should drop small kisses on your partner's inner thighs and pubic mound. Simply hover over them and let gentle kisses emerge from your lips while you awaken their nerve endings and attract awareness and circulation to the area, she says. This will help awaken their nerve endings and draw awareness and circulation to the area. You can also create arousal and stimulate full body orgasms by giving each other breath kisses all over your body. Get handsy. The combination of your hands and mouth will provide you with an experience that is even more pleasurable than using only your mouth. It is recommended by O'Reilly that you slide your hands over the clitoris or the inner lips of your spouse if they have a vulva. Run your tongue up and down in the middle, between the inner lips, in the other direction, she instructs. This will help loosen up your tongue. Place additional emphasis on the fourchette, the notch at the bottom where the lips meet, and the clitoral head with the tip of your tongue, the instructor said. If your spouse has a penis, you can play with the tip of it with your tongue while using your hands to grab the base of the shaft of the penis. Ask your significant other to touch you. The focus of oral sex shouldn't be solely on the other person. Emily Morse, an author who specializes in erotica, recommends that you let your lover touch your breasts, nipples, and clitoris while you are gratifying them sexually. If you turn yourself on, it will also turn them on. Convinced? You may give one of these clit vibrators a shot. You, as well as your spouse, won't be let down by this. The prostate should be massaged. When it comes to male partners, the prostate, which is a gland roughly the size and shape of a walnut and is placed immediately in front of the rectum, is frequently an underexplored source of pleasure. Berman suggests that you should discover and stimulate his prostate, which is a highly orgasmic spot, while you suck, kiss, and tease the shaft. Once you find it, massage it lightly, then gradually increase the intensity of your strokes and pressure, she advises. Once you find it, massage it gently. Get nosy. According to O'Reilly, the sensation of grinding against something can be satisfying to a lot of people, and your nose can come in handy for that. She recommends that you do the following, press it in and out, side to side, up and down and all around. The very tip of your nose has a smooth texture, try feeling it now. So when your spouse rides your face, make the most of the angles and contours that it offers. Use your entire body. Even the feel of your hair against the belly or pubic bone of your partner will be pleasurable, according to Albert. You might try touching their thighs with your body and massaging their thighs with your hands. Even running your fingertips down their back is acceptable behavior. Albert points out that you don't have to imitate the quick, furious, and hard method that you've seen in porn to be successful. Before you open your mouth to say something, take things slowly and tease your companion. Ask for feedback. Because each person is unique, the simplest method to figure out what excites your partner is to simply ask them about it. 
According to Ashera de Rosa, a licensed marriage and family therapist who specializes in sex therapy, it may be incredibly hot to say, do you enjoy that? As you're giving them pleasure, especially if you're the one giving them pleasure. This affords them the option to provide feedback along the lines of more of this or less of that. Be receptive to the feedback that your spouse gives you if they tell you they don't like a particular method. It does not signify that you are poor at oral sex, rather, it presents an opportunity for you to experiment with other forms of sexual expression. Express your enjoyment. When both partners express how much pleasure they are receiving from oral sex, the experience is enhanced for everyone involved. According to Dr. Lori Beth Bisbee, a clinical psychologist who specializes in sex and intimacy coaching, love what you are doing, and it will be excellent for your partner. You can verbally let them know things like I love going down on you or you taste so wonderful to express yourself, as we advised previously, or you can express yourself through moans and groans as we suggested earlier. Slow down. To demonstrate your excitement, you should proceed slowly and deliberately at all times. Bisbee advises his students to not be in a rush to move on to something new. Instead, you should make it abundantly apparent to your spouse that you will remain seated there for as long as it is necessary for them. You might even tell them something along the lines of I could do this all day long. Prepare for the future. According to David Helfand, a certified psychologist who specializes in couples counseling, one of the most helpful things you can do to create the best possible experience for the both of you is to discuss in advance what each of you would like to have to happen. Paint a painting together, is the recommendation that he makes. Imagine that you are collaborating on a racy beach novel for the summer. What sort of treatment would you like them to give you? What were some of the highlights of your most recent sexual experience? You are free to debate the matter at any point before or after the event. You might also try viewing porn together to spark some ideas, or have a conversation about the kinds of sex toys or flavored lube that you'd like to play with. Feel your touch. Even if your primary goal is to make your spouse happy, they can find that witnessing you enjoy yourself brings forth an even stronger desire in them. According to O'Reilly, you should prioritize your pleasure before that of your sweetheart while you're making love to them. Touch yourself, rub on their body, wear a vibrating device, imagine, or play a part that excites you. These are just some of the things you may do to stimulate your senses. The fact that you are the one who will be performing oral does not mean that you cannot experience a pleasure for yourself at the same time.